hello guys today i will show you how you can change the color of hair available in the images like you can change any col hair color of any person available in the image so how you can do that i will show you uh, in this particular video so uh, first of all i'll show you the original repository of deep dive uh, basically the method uh, which is involved for this execution is deep dive basically deep dive is the name of uh, particular uh, mod model uh, which executes the uh, like this type of execution using neural network so again uh, this is the original repository uh, like on the initial level of uh, this repository works on very less colors like three or four colors but later on i have modified this code and uh, now it's working more than with 20 plus colors so this is how uh, it's look like so you can see uh, there are there is um, you know installation process and you can see the, the author also mentioned the how it works and on the back end side they they are using unit model so this is uh, like the installation process so like if you are using this or if you are doing uh, like on the initial level if your installation are going to be like this so you, can, you, you you need to follow this either you can install the virtual environment and follow the requirements or you can directly do this without the virtual environment so i would recommend you to do, to do that with the help of virtual environment so like this is also they show they are showing the results of how it will look after the code execution so like this is the basic command you need to run uh, like on the initial level they uh, they mentioned the four colors as you can see on the screen red green blue and pink so this basically on this four color they have they have worked and like on the resultant image it's look like this so like on the uh, like on the upside the input image and on the bottom side in the output image so you can see the difference of hair color so like uh, uh, they have also mentioned that if you want to use model by yourself so you can train uh, like model so like uh, like i have not trained the model i have just used the model and i've made it changes in the code so let's go with the code uh, i'm like i'm going to the particular repository of in my local um, directory so here uh, firstly i would tell you that the code i've made uh, it's available for both the version either you can run from the terminal or, or you can also run from the collab so it's not required that you have pro version of collab you can also run the same code with the normal version like without pro version so i am like opening one of the code file so this is how it's look like so basically i have made this code basis of argument so you can also uh, like you know specifically pass the argument that will be ease and that will be you know specifically result oriented uh, so yeah so as you can see they have made it certain argumented arguments like uh, change the input image i have you can change the directory of the input images like it's working for single image and it's also working for multiple images you can just pass the like if you're working for a specific image you need to specify the path of image either you can also uh, pass the directory of that image folder then if you are working on certain color or specific color so you can mention the color or you can mention the value of that color rgb value uh, you can mention the uh, argument as output directory like if you are working for a single image so you can name as generated png or if you are working for a directory basis so you can mention the directory the next is the opacity like it's the percentage of like how much opacity of image in the output you want so basically by default uh, like after computation with certain values so i make it as 0 0.7 value and you can change uh, like if you want to go with a higher contrast and brightness level so you can change this opacity uh, in this particular section you can see a multiple color values and their rgb values so i made a dictionary of this multiple colors and their uh, rgb values so this is how you can mention uh, like uh, again as i told you earlier that you can pass the argument so this is the code itself it says about that if you not if you not generated a directory in the out in the uh, in the desired path so you can the code self generate the uh, like 
in in the di directory as make directory as generated so you can also get the desired output directory from your local path uh basically there are, uh, you can see two functions the one is the main program and the second one is the pro progress image so in this in, in both the functions we have just passed the parameters of image color opacity and output so like uh, i've i've made changes with the help of pillow you can also see that i've firstly i've you know changes the uh, parameter as per the file name unique id and then i've processed the image with the help of the function process image uh, in the process image i have also load the model of neural network unit you, you can see uh, the neural model dot forward image file name and color so uh, this is how we we get the process image and then uh, like in the main function i have you know uh, uh, add some uh, arguments as list dot os li input directory and yeah so uh, in the in that in the main self you can also see the main program in which i have passed the parameters of argument parser which i have edited in the above the code so like this is how it uh, it it works and i'll show you the result so basically this is the input image of i have tested i have downloaded this image from google so you can also test it with any random images so this is how the input image looks like and i'll now show you the output so you can you can see there are uh, more than 20 plus sorry so there are more than 20 plus colors of uh, you know output images 22 images so uh, you can also see the color of uh, particular in images like starting from blue brown butterscotch chocolate brown so these are uh, most probably more than 22 plus of colors i have implemented and you can also add your color your choice of color if you want to add something else apart from this you can add just like to add a dictionary and uh, their rgb values so it will work uh, basis on the same execution so i'll now like most probably i'll show you the result you can see the variations from blue to white like from the starting image to the last image so this is how it works so like if you if you like the video and if you have any suggestions you you can mention in the comment and you can also explore the the fundamentals of this hair color and if you find any options and you can just directly reach out to me as comment box or you can directly on my it to my linkedin account or github profile so I'll sh so this is how the implementation implementation looks like thank you